Hello, we are Nose of the West, and today we are playing Apiary. This is a new game from Stonemaier Games who have sent this out to us, so thank you very much to them. That will not impact our review when we review this after this, because that's what we do here. How to play playthrough and a review. We, the people that are going to be playing this wonderful Space Speed game, we have a lot of them. Buzz Buzz. We have a Sean. Hey ya. My name is Tom. The aim of this game is to get the most points that you can by upgrading your bees, placing out your bees to work, buying tiles, building wonderful end game scoring engines. It's a worker placement with one crucial factor that the worker placement areas do not stop you from going there when someone else's worker is there. You just bump it off and give it back to them, upgrading their worker as you go. I believe Lachlan, you are our first player. Uh, you are our first player. I'm our first player. Let's go. <laughs> uh, everybody in this game has a different starting tile, which is why I was trying to get Lachlan to do it. My starting tile uh, is that I have three workers to begin with. And whenever I explore a planet, I also gain additional resources. So let's start out strong. Uh, unless there are any of the uh, immediate bonuses from this that will give me extra bonuses. Nah, let's go for explore right out the gate. I'm going to place one of my bees. This is a strength two bee uh, out onto the explore and I'm going to move two spaces. Can you guess where I'm going to move Lachlan? Uh, I mean, you need resources, right? So you want, do you want the two fiber? I do want the two fiber, yes. So we're going to go one, two, land on the fiber. Tom gets this um, uh, explore token, which is the two fiber. Let me just, that's the new one. I did shuffle it. Uh, we got Melpy. As a planet, wonderful, and, and you get to put one resource on there. Um, can I put a pollen on there, please? Cool. You want to check on yep. Yeah, it's a pollen. So now we have a pollen on this planet. Anyone who visits there will get a pollen. I get a pollen right now, and because of my special bonus, I will also get another resource. So can I have a water, please, Sean? Lachlan, whoever has the water. <laughs> I assume Sean had the basic resources on his side of the table. I mean, he can have the basic resources. Um, so now I need to place no, these onto, onto my board to make sure I got space for them. Uh, pollen and uh, fiber in this case are taking up the same space, um, but I will put them there. Uh, and that is my turn. Sweet. So for my turn, I'm going to use a level one worker. It's going to go into the advance. Uh, my faction has a special ability, which is at the start of the game, I drew three developments and I drew three carve tiles and they sit off the side of my board. To use those, I still have to uh, do the advance action, but now I can advance any one of my uh, things here. So I'm going to build this tile, which is exchange with one uh, wax and I get to place this on my board. But the ability of the exchange is build any two face up recruits for free. <laughs> so I'm going to choose That's gross. carve and convert. I know, I've worked that out. Uh, so I take carve and convert and they're going to go onto my board. Yeah, leave them up there for a little bit longer. Carve and convert, they're going to go on my board because I got them for free with my ability. So straight out of the, straight out of the gate, uh, I've already got three uh, tokens on my board and I covered up three Queen's Favour locations on my frame. So I'm going to move up three on the Queen's favor. Well, you didn't get Carmen Convert, you got Chemist and Apprentice. Ah, oh, Chemist and Apprentice, sorry. They, they upgrade the your Convert and Carve actions. Yes. In this case, Carve now costs you three strength <laughs> instead of four. Uh, normally the Carve action, you have to use a level four B. Yeah. Uh, and Convert is uh, converting to Wax and Honey now costs you one less pollen. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty gross. That's pretty great. <laughs> Did you get your benefits underneath? Yeah, for so building them? I got three Queen's Favor. So the zero space. Uh, do we start on the zero? Then you start on zero, yeah. Zero. Yep. Up to the three. Cool. We'll need two new tiles out, Sean. Do you want to show us what tiles we're getting? Because yep. I might want to build them at some point. We've got the Artisan. Oh, and these are blue. They're not going to show up at all. No, no, no. They're like disappearing into the Artisan <laughs> carve costs you one less honey. Beautiful. Uh, and architect, whenever you gain a, uh, what did we call these? I uh, call them tiles. Frames. High frames. Frames. Extra spaces on your board to build. This is uh, the highest. Those are frames. Whenever you gain a frame, pay a resource to plant a seed card. That's cool. That is very cool. Mm. That's pretty cool. All right, so this one came out first. Um, this one after. So I think with these, we should probably just do like, if there's a punch in the zoom, then we can probably. That, that's as zoomed as we have it. Yeah, okay. Tough one. Yeah. All right, Sean, what you got for your turn? Um, all right, I think I need some more resources before I can do anything really cool. So, 
I'm going to go here with my one. And now you can move a maximum of three spaces. Yep. But you can't land back on the original space. To answer your question, Morgan Moon, the next person to land on Malpy will get to do the next resource, not the next two. So it's going to take three visits of the planet to fill out those spaces. Yeah. So I'm going to go one, two, three. Grab this. Queen's Favor. Two Queen's Favor, please. Cool. And let's see what I got. Oh, this is blue as well. Probably not going to be able to see it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a single space tile. Sean will get to choose anything he wants to go on that. What are you choosing, Sean? Water. It's a water planet. You've got the water now. Cool. And you have to put the water on top of the thing. Oh, yep. Don't forget that. And that's my turn. Wonderful. I would like to build some things, but <laughs> what would I like to build? Man, having two workers sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely rough for you guys. Uh, there's a lot of different technologies there. Advanced costs one less pollen. I don't think I'm going to do a lot of that. Car, I can't build any of those three ones. Maybe I'll go to grow and get myself a um, my additional a worker, worker back. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. Get that going early. Would like to send my my one work out to grow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend and one pollen. There you go, Sean. Thank you. And I get my additional worker immediately to my active pool of workers. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got all four workers available to me. What you got, Lachlan? Uh, so I have a level two worker in my active pool. I need to go somewhere, but I also really need resources because I'm struggling in the resource department. Um, so we're going to go to the explore, please, right. Sean, bumping Tom's uh, B off. Wonderful. So he had a level two B, it goes back to him. He gets to choose if it goes in his landing area or into his active pool. Uh, and he then, he also gets to choose if it goes up. Yes, so if I choose for it to go into my active pool, it increases from a level two to a level three, which is what I will be doing. Yep, and doesn't gain you income, but if you chose to go into landing area, it won't go up in in power, but you do get an income from it. If I ever take a retreat action. Yeah, oh, yeah when you take a retreat. Because if yeah. you do like a retrieve and then in your active pool, then they don't yep. get you income. Yep. Um, but I've got no farms at the moment, so there's no point in me building towards income. Where would uh, you like to move, Lachlan? Uh, I would like to move on to the two pollen explore tile, please. Get myself two pollen. Maybe you've got places to store those. I do. All right. We have Lamy, which is a one space. Okay. <laughs> Getting all the weak planets out there early. That's fine. I love it. Uh, what would you like? Uh, I'd really like a water, please. Water? Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Cool. All right. I have to retrieve next turn. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to go to the advanced bump Lachlan's down. Mm -hmm. And now I have a power of three, which I'm going yeah, to... Yeah, you would, wouldn't you? Yep. Buy this one. So the guys should be able to see that now, everybody. This is a wonderful farm tile. I was eyeing it off and probably could have played better to get it, but cost him two water and a fiber. Only has one storage space, only gets you one point at the end of the game, but every income, two points and a Queen's Favor. It's yes, pretty good. Quite big. And I'm going to build it over my Queen's Favor spot on my board. So I got up one there and it's next to my uh, agronomist, which gets me a victory point. I'm on four victory points. I'm worried. I'm worried about Sean. Yeah, that's about a Sean. very good start. Uh, this slides down and we replenish it and we're getting this one which is income for water, gives you a space for any one of the basic resources and then also a space for the more advanced resources. Yeah, if I paid attention, I definitely could have got that that turn, but I didn't, so no point complaining. What would I like to do now? Um, <sighs> Maybe I took the wrong resources, to be honest. Entirely possible. It makes it quite difficult. Yeah. I took the wrong resources. Um, Such is the uphill battle. You know what, that seems quite useful. Extra storage for everything. 
mm. point every time I take income. Let's do that. I'm going to put a level one worker on there, bumping Lachlan's off on advance. Sweet, he comes back and he's level two. Uh, and then I'm going to build that first one that is there, please, Sean. The farm? Yep. yep. Uh, and so this will get me a victory point every income, but also has a bit more storage for me to use. But I am not paying anything to build it because I am placing it onto this space on my board, which uh, a farm built here costs one less fiber and one less water. So you That's get amazing. it for free. That's so good. That's actually incredible. It's pretty great. All right, Lachlan. Right, well, my plan has changed because I now have a bee put back into my area. Runs in, runs in my area. Uh, I'm going to go to the explore because I do need some resources. I mean, otherwise I could get two more workers, which would also be handy if I go to the grow space and then I won't have to recall as much. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's... So you bump in I need tons resources off. is what you I have need. tons. What are I you talking about? I don't have tons, Sean. I don't. But Compared to me, do So we're going to go to the grow. Tom's gets bumped back. I'm going to spend my two pollen and get my two workers that are on the side of my board. So now I have two workers ready to rumble. And they go into your active pool at level, level one value. Yep. All right, well, I've got no uh, workers, so I'm going to have to retrieve. Um, so now I decide what I want to do with them. So I'm going to retrieve my one level one and upgrade it to a two. And then if I, so to clarify here. And when you retrieve, free, they always go back to your active pool. Yeah, they do go they? back to your active yeah. pool. And you they don't have a choice, income. they upgrade. They also do income. Do they? Yep. Yes. They do income and upgrade. The only time you can send something to the landing area is when someone else bumps it off. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And the benefit of that is that. You don't have to upgrade it. Uh, okay. Like if you don't want it to upgrade, then. Uh, and you can lock it in for income. But you've only got one farm tile. So you only yeah. get one income, which is two points and a queen's favor. Yeah, cool. All right, two and one. Oops. Nicely and done, one. Sean. Nice. Yeah, we got to stop this guy. He's a bad person. Yeah, he's, he's running away with it. Things we have, man. Um, cool. Good turn. That's me. Your turn. All right, I am going to explore. Uh, yep. So nice. I would like to bump push. that push. a little bit. I'm going to explore two down to that pollen area, please. So I will take a pollen. Oh. I will take one of anything. Saxifrage. From this planet. Um, so I would like uh, a... Let's go a pollen. On there? Yeah. Pollen on there? No, I'm, I'm getting one of anything. Okay, yep. pollen. And then I'm putting one on there, yep. Yep. which will be a water. Mm, that's pretty good. And then I'm getting one of anything, yeah. which will be another pollen. Yeah, which is that one. <laughs> no, another, another pollen from my ability. Yeah, he gets a, every time he explores, he gets a resource. Wow. I'm getting a lot. So what's fun here is I don't have enough space to store all of this. Um, so, sorry, I also need a, a water from placing the water on there. Golly. Sure, keep up, man. Golly. We gave you all the basic resources, <laughs> Sean. We <laughs> thought you could count. Uh, I'm getting water, I'm getting a pollen on here, and now I don't have any more space to pour, store a pollen, but I can yeah. swap this out for a pollen. So swap out your fiber for your pollen. Goodbye fiber, you get discarded, but that earns me a queen's favor. Oh yeah. Look at me climbing up that queen's favor track. By basically, one thematically, you can't carry anymore, so you're like, here queen, take this, and she gets Yes, I totally you. love you so much and <laughs> don't have run out of space. Yes, the queen is the best, oh, God, God save the queen. <laughs> Hey, Lachlan, okay, that's your turn. That it is. That it is. Um, cool. I have two workers, so we're going to go with this one, and we're going to go up and explore, please, Sean, um, which gives me an explore of three. What do you want to do with that? Um, oh, I bumped myself off. Bumped yeah. yourself he off. will become a level three, because hell yeah. He will become a level three. And then we can move a maximum of three spaces, which gets me up to the double water space. One, two, three. Yep. So he gets me two water tokens. We get a planet. Hell yeah. And the planet is... 
gives me water. Carry up bar, which gives you water. <laughs> Hell yeah. How exciting. And what would you like to put on it? Lock on uh, that one has multiple spaces. I would like Just five, reminder, even if it's blue, we'll still, we'll still flip it onto here in the future. Okay. I'd like fiber, please. And then I'd take fiber from the pool. Hey, Kruber, how you doing? This guy. Uh, and then, because I don't have enough room for this water, because I got so much water and drowned, um, I get a queen's favor. Nicely done. So, I'm good. And you? Red, uh, red. Yeah, I moved myself. Okay, cool. I was, Sorry, just, I was, just, I was just fixing him up. Yep. Um, we're good. We're playing some spees. Spees! Speedy bees. And it's it's pretty cut through, and I'm not going to lie. As you can see, this takes up a lot of room on the table. Which Just is... Which is the struggle. Which I we'll mean, come back to. We're in struggle town. Yeah, there's so many work placement options. Alright. I'm going to go the explore action as well. Kick Tom off. Hey, thanks. I'm going to upgrade that boy. Okay. And I'm moving I could pass four. That's fine. But it's up to four, right? Yeah. You don't have to move four. Yeah. One, two, two, four. So I'm just going to go to this one, get myself a pollen, and then I'm going to grab another pollen. Oh my god. Puts a pollen on the thing. What a disgusting human being. I'm proud of you, Sean. And that's my turn. All right, I would like to advance again. I'm spending a level three B. Mm -hmm. So I have a total strength of four, so I can't buy from the top level, but I will be buying that middle yeah. development. My carve will cost- um, You mean recruit. Recruit, thank you. My middle recruit, carve will cost me one less honey, and I am only paying a single pollen what? for this. One less honey? Um, yep, carve cost me one less honey, and this cost me two less pollen, so this cost me a single pollen. And that's why I was looking at the carves, because I'm all about that carve game, baby. I'm already thinking about the end game. We're three turns in, and I'm on the end game scoring, Lachlan. I'm trying, man. Like, I set myself from the start to do that, but I'm, it's like it's a race against your resources. Right, what did we got get? the Wayfinder out, which is when you do the explore, you may move the queen ship two extra spaces. Wow. I want that. Yeah, I mean, like, you can already move it quite far, so I don't know what the It gets you exactly is. what you want, and it's worth two points. That's the thing. Like, that's not a bad tile in my mind. Yeah. We uh, need a better table or a bigger table? Because I don't know if we can fit a bigger table. That That's the issue. Like, this table is the perfect size for both our camera and our studio. Like, we've done the maths, man. We got, we got, we got everything going on in here. We didn't totally just randomly end up with this table one day and find out it worked perfectly for the camera. <laughs> That is what right. happened. Your turn, Lachlan. What are you doing? Um, so I'm just having a look at the advance uh, tokens, but I'm not sure if I want to put a one worker on there or a three, because they they virtually do the same thing. One gives me water and one gives me um, pollen. But I think that I probably just need the pollen production more than the water production, is my understanding. So we're going to go with the with a three on here, bumping Tom's off. Mm -hmm. So now I've got a strength of six and I can buy this one here, which gives me a pollen in income. I can get any one resource onto it and I can also store an extra honey yep. or thing. And it's gonna cost me a fiber and a water. Pay up. Very cool. Cool. Now cool. we got the new farm coming out, which gives you income of fiber. Um, similar storage space to the one that Lachlan just had and cost you a fiber and a water. Mm. So, pretty easy. All right. Um, I'm going to spend my two and go on the grow, which bumps Lachlan's one back. Uh, and I'm um, yep. spending so three. two pollen to get both of my workers back into my active pool. Very cool. That's my turn. I'm torn between resources and cards. Because cards are very useful. But I think right now... What's Party Meeple hinting at? I'm, it, just get a bigger, better table. Bigger table. 
Well, I mean, this has fit pretty much most games on there. Yeah, when we get large games, it does get very crowded. But for the most part, we've played hundreds of games on this table. I mean, like this year, we have played a good 50 games. And the previous year, we played another 50 games. So we've played hundreds of games on this table. And it's it's a nice, comfortable amount of space. I mean, if we're going to, if you know someone how to get sponsored to get one of those real <laughs> nice gaming tables, mm. then definitely shoot us through some messages. And then maybe it will just be a little bit bigger. Yeah, just, you know, we'll, we'll get it to fit, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, we'll just have we, to we did talk idea. about a table that had um, like built in webcams so we could like show yeah. stuff off. Yeah. Oh, how cool um, would that be? Like poker style? You can be right, like, yeah, this exactly. Time. Yeah, yeah. See. Um, I'm going to explore. So I don't know how many spaces I've got, but I know I'll be able to go anywhere because I am using a B of three. Yeah. Lachlan, you can have your B back. Hell yeah. He's going to be at level two B. Uh, so how many spaces can uh, I move, uh, Sean? Six. Oh, six. wonderful. Can you move me uh, one space across to the victory point? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's all I want to do. You're going to get there? Oh, yeah. I suppose. You can just, yep. He's got six, man. <laughs> he, can he can move Sean, up to Sean, six. It wasn't the best bit in the world, but it was a bit. It didn't matter how many spaces I was moving, I was moving one space. Well, you yeah, can move yeah. to the top one. Yeah. Uh, how many victory points am I on? Because I didn't track how many we started with. Um, you're on two victory points. Woo! Uh, wonderful. So oh, can okay. I also see what planet I am flipping out, Sean? Oh. Aurel, which gives you a fiber, and then you can choose something else. Wonderful. Uh, so I would like... Um, I would like the fiber. Yes. I would like a pollen, and then for my special bonus, I would like another pollen. Cool, let's have a look at how this is going to work out for me in terms of storage. Uh, I can tell you now this fiber is disappearing. Uh, this pollen is going to go here, and this pollen is going to go here. <laughs> Thanks for fixing that, party maple. Sean with an E gets and, it right. And then I am going to discard two fiber for two queen's favor. Because who needs farms? I'm all about the victory points, baby. Two queens favor, please. It's important to track. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you for double checking because obviously I missed it. I appreciate it. That is my turn. Um, so my one worker is going to go to the explore, please, Sean. We're wow. going to move to... Nothing but explores. Yeah. We're Everyone gonna, needs resources. We're going to get a Malpy. Um, so, okay. And I'd like to put an extra fiber on there. So in total, I'll get two pollen and one fiber. Two pollen, one fibre. Cool. So you bumped off my worker, which was a level three. So yep. I can choose to upgrade to a four or leave it as a three and pop it here. Yeah. And yep. when you retrieve, you take it back and it doesn't income, but doesn't upgrade. Hello, Ice Rider. How you doing? Long time no see. Well, it's icy there now, isn't it? That's true. <laughs> I think that's what I want to do. I want to keep it the same. I'm not quite ready to get it to a level four yet. Okay. And where would you like to go, Sean? Um, Big considerations. There are two spaces on the board that if you go, I get a level four worker. Yeah. Don't give him a level four. If you give him a level four, man is going to do some carving. Carving up a storm, yeah. Carve up a storm. Well, I, I don't have any honey. Okay, that's true. That's fair. You need some honey, man. It's true. Get yourself some honey. You call yourself a bear? <laughs> what to do, what to do. Do anything. Do something! He's going to do it. Yeah, He's going to explore. He's going to duck me off. I think of I want course. to. Of course. Like, explore's the, explore is basically the only I'm way just, to get resources. I've just got, like, no resources. But I need to get yep. something happening here. Yeah. Dude, the extra resource game that I'm on is just wonderful. I mean, I would move up to Karo... Kropa or to real, because then you've got you get three resources. Yeah. Is is good. Or you could just go here and get four resources. Yeah. So yeah one wax you totally have. One wax get would be get amazing. I do actually have a wax, so I should probably spend that at some point. Yeah, but where would you put all those resources? Yeah, so I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna bump you off, you can upgrade your work. Thank you, that's gonna be a level four worker. Tom gets himself a level four worker. Woo! I'm gonna go there, and I'm gonna get myself the fiber, the water, mm -hmm. and it's going to be. Oh, put a pollen on there. Make it a Don't make it a triple threat. Yeah, I know. Do I want to? Is it worth it? One of everything. Come on. Um. Yeah. Why not? 
Hey. Beautiful. We made that mistake in the past where we just didn't have enough resources on the board and everyone went, I can't I can't get a fiber. You need to put a pollen on that yep. planet as well. Beautiful. Cool. Alright, Tom. What'd you got? What I have is I am going to place my level 4B on convert. <laughs> uh, now, before I do any conversions, I have to teach a dance, which means I get to look through these things mm. here and figure out what I want to do for these wonderful new conversions that everyone has access to. We have the choice of using two resources that I choose to get a point and a wax or sacrificing two Queen's Faber for something. And I think that something mm -hmm. is going to be... a seed card. Ooh, interesting. Because I don't want to give you guys easy access to honey, because that was my plan, was get as much honey as possible. But right now I have the resources to get to honey. So I don't need to do it additionally. So I'm going to do this. Okay. That's the play. Interesting play. All right. So uh, I now get to do four conversions because I have a level four B there. My first two are going to be two pollen and a water twice. Yep. For two honey, please and thank you. Two pollen. Right. You want two honey? Two honey, please and thank you. Okay. Here you are, sir. Thank you very much. And my honey will go here and here because I have the space for them. Mm -hmm. Um, I also do additionally, as Sean has just done for me, place my final block out onto the board. If anybody uses that space, I get a queen's favor. Yep. So mm. if anybody does the dance of sacrifice, Tom gets a queen's favor. I believe I have three queen's favor. Uh, yeah. You do. I would like to sacrifice two for a card. Okay. Here is your card. Thank sir. you very much. <laughs> oh, that's spicy. Is that your turn? Uh, no, I do have one more conversion if I want to use it. Hi, uh, Alice Ryder. How's it going? You could get a card for a card since you just draw a card. I could get a card for a card, but I am going to... How we doing? Hope you're having a fun Saturday. I'm actually going to oh, play Friday. play this card right away. Okay. Um, for down. its special ability, which is to gain any explore tile. And mm. I don't need resources right now, so I'm going to take that extra victory point. Does that count as you exploring it? No, I just gain the tile. Yeah. Uh, if somebody goes, I, I believe that space will not have a planet. Mm. Oh, okay. We'll check uh, the rule book for in any interaction. I think, I think it does. I think if you go, if there, you, you go just, there, you, you just, just don't get a token. You just don't get a token. Fair enough. Um, cool. So an additional victory point for me. Yep. I, had to, I gave you one. So I'm up to three. Sean is back down to six because I hit the wrong buttons I'm before. on two. You're on two? Good. Let's yeah. track that. Um, and I could do one more conversion. I've got nothing to convert. Mm -hmm. That's my turn. Cool. I am going to go to the convert, bumping Tom's oh, four off. I was not expecting that. Okay, so now I have to hibernate. I'll let you finish your turn while I figure out where I'm hibernating. Okay, cool. Uh, so I spend two water, two pollen, and that gets me two honey. Nice. Because I have the honey costs one less pollen. It does, yeah. So, and I have the space for it on my board. You have three honey now. I have three honey and I can go to car for three. And I have a three. He's set. Very nice, All right. very nice. Oh, it's mine. <laughs> it's mine! Because <laughs> Tom doesn't have a four. <laughs> Unless Sean does something specific. Yeah. yeah. No. Don't do that. Um, I am going to... If you do that, he gets a four, then he'll be able to go to the carve and spend that honey. That's what I'm going to have to do. Yeah. Sean, don't do it! <laughs> I'm going to get a queen's favor from the top left there. So I can possibly turn that into Please, a card later. I beg you. <laughs> I beg you. Which one are you looking for, Sean? Lachlan? Which, which ones have we looked at in the middle? Lachlan wants this one for everybody that's watching. He wants the, what's it, retinue, which gives him one victory point per space that he is on the Queen's track. So he's gunning to go up the queen, Queen's track and get extra points. Is that the one you're looking for? Hell yeah. Okay, cool. I'm not going for that one. No way. Legitimately not going for that one. How are you not going Legitimately for that one? Legitimately not going for that one. Why? 
Uh, I'll show you why on my turn. Sean, I can promise you, if you go there, I will not be taking that one away from Lachlan. Question though, um, did you get a Fate Queen's Favour? As no, well? I believe okay. it is only when someone else uses that okay, one. Okay, yeah. Cool. Like, I promise you, I am not screwing over Lachlan. I want a different one to him. It's, it's taken me so long to get to this point to be ready to do it, and then now Sean has it in yeah. his... It's in Sean's power. <laughs> To, to choose what's going and on. And I thought right I was now. up on you as well, because I had like the three Even if you don't go there, I'm just gonna bump my own one off anyway. I'm not taking that one from Lachlan, so it doesn't matter if you don't go there, because he'll take that one and I'll still get the one I want. Yeah. I mean I'm 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 taking it. Yeah. Like, so don't so don't slow yourself down. I'm I, this is not a no, bit. I'm no, not no. screwing over Lachlan. I don't know. I'm gonna do Play it. Play your game. Go on there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm screwing over no, I'm just kidding. And <laughs> I'm spending the water and the fiber. To oh, buy hurts. this one. What you got? So this farm tile gives me an income of getting a worker back, which oh, is really handy, and I don't need to go to grow. That's yeah. so good. Um, I considered it. I can store stuff and gives me one victory point. Yeah. And it's going to go here. Yeah, it's going to go here, which I get a queen's favor, please. All right. We all know what's coming. I'm going to be spending two honey. Do because have I have the ability to spend less honey. Yes. Um, so I would like to place my level four worker onto carve. Yes. And I would like cluster. Okay. Now cluster is going to give me three victory points per adjacent tile. Mm. And I have this wonderful space on my board yep. that already has one, two, three tiles around it. Mm -hmm. so that is already nine points I'm getting at the end of the game. If I slap another one up here, additional points and one there that I'm going to build out towards. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. I do like that, but I'm also just like, I, I do feel like uh, return is just better because I, like, I'm not seeing a lot of Queen's favor coming in this game. Okay, so we'll see I, how bump, we go. I bump Tom's level four. I get to hibernate again. Tom gets to hibernate again. Um, I would. Sorry, Where's your let, other let, let me gone? let me spend my. Did you have two hibernates on here? No, I've got one hibernate on there. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Uh, spend my honey. Make sure I actually do that. Um, and I'm gonna go into the same spot. Uh, on the top left, and I'm going to take the pollen spot there. Cool. Um, pollen. Sweet. So that's going to cost me three. So I'm allowed to go to carve because I have the uh, apprentice, which allows me to carve with a strength worker of three. Yep. Um, I have the three honey that is required to build um, retinue, which is one victory point per queen's favor. Uh, and that is going to go on my board here, which gets me an instant victory point. Lachlan's on three victory points. And now we just have to get Queen's Favor. <laughs> oh, now we can start looking at playing the game in a different way. Cool. How interesting. My turn? Yep. So I've got no I've got no um, bees left to put out, so I'm going to retrieve. So again, I just take these back right, and they go into my active pool. Yep. And they don't go up right. No, because they only go up in strength if they're bumped. No, they, they do. Oh, yeah, cool. So they all go up in strength then. Yeah, retrieve yep. all bumped workers gain one strength when entering the active pool, yeah. including, uh, not including the one that is in your um, area down there. Yeah, so this goes up here. And then how much income can I do? Uh, equal to the workers that you took back from the board. So each worker can visit one space. How many workers did you take back from the board? From the board, three. Cool. You can visit three spaces. You only have two. Two, two. yeah, which I'm going to do this one. Um, yeah. Which so, is giving me two victory points, so I'm on eight now. One Queen's Favor. One Queen's Favor there. Yep. And you get a worker back, which you have none. Yep. Yep. Love it. Cool. Very cool. All right. And that's me. Um, now I think my engine's ready to start going start now. Start going? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't know about my engine, man. Uh, I'm going to uh, explore. Once again, because I'm loving that extra income, I'm going to explore for one. And I'm going to uh, go sideways one and get myself one of anything. And what planet do I get, Sean? You get Nolia, which is just a one spot planet. Wonderful. Um, so I would like, from my one of anything from here, a pollen. Mm -hmm. I would like um, from one of anything uh, 
uh, water. And then from on that planet, I would like to put a another pollen. So I'm, I'm thinking like three turns ahead right now. It's, oh, it's, it's, it's hard. But now I'm feeling like it's got the problem of the worker placement where you're thinking three turns ahead and you're just like, please, for the love of God, I need everything to go my way. So then that way things aren't taken out of my, like from out from under you. Yeah. Typically that is my turn. Placement stuff. Okay. So uh, for my turn, I don't have any workers out, uh, any active pool workers. So I have to retrieve them. So retrieve this guy goes into here into being a two. This one here is going to become a three. These ones here are going to go into... When I retrieve them, do they have to upgrade? Yes. The only way that you never upgrade them is by placing them into your landing area, and that's only when someone bumps. That's rough. I don't yep. want fours. Yep. The timing, man. The, the subtle timing of this game is what's really, actually, really exciting me. That actually kind of like ruins my whole play because I'm like, I don't ever want to have, mm. I don't want to have ever hibernations, but now I'm like, oh, I guess I'll try something different, shall we? Different plan, different plan. Um, yeah, so I retrieve them. I get one pollen from my um, income. And that is my turn. All right. Love it. I'm gonna use a, like a lot of fours. Yeah, two fours. <laughs> That's a lot of fours, really. When I use my about three it. to go on the explore, and I'm going to move it to here to get myself a water, a fiber, and a pollen. Cool, and that's my turn. All right, I think this is the, the right time to do this. Or is it going to be even better to do other things instead. How good's worker placement, gang? How good is it? It's just such a good mechanic gameplay system. Mm. Tom already has two hibernation tokens out and he's getting five victory points basically at this point. Um, I would like to explore again because more resources just give me more options. So I'm going to be bumping my own worker off and I am adding a level two worker down there. Can I move over to where the wax is please so this worker will become a level two i'll be getting a wax from this what planet am i getting sean oh. give me a second tom that's right this is lachlan's job I'm trying to do oh planet. this is our first level four planet that we can do um so it is any two resources but if you visit there with a level four b you will collect income from up to three of your farms very cool very very cool need more farms for that yeah um, cool, so I would like to put a um, fiber on there. Mm -hmm. So you get a fiber? Yep, and for my free resource, I would like a water, please. Thank you very much. That resource game going strong. Mm. And I will pass the turn. Yes. Yes. Well, I now have the fun thing of either going to advance because I have the resources to build a farm or something and farms are just good for like income, which I feel like I'm struggling with, but I need resources. So I'm kind of thinking, hey, you know, it'd be really good doing some uh, exploring and getting some resources because there's a decent amount of resources there to be had um, I feel like the um, the recruits aren't very good at the moment. Even the farms aren't super great either. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the advance with level four, which gives me a, a five ability. Mm -hmm. Gets you three victory points. Gets me three victory points for going there with level four. And then we're going to take this farm mm -hmm. up the top here which can house um, three different things. 
and gets you water on income. It's a lot of storage. Water on income, so I pay you the cost for it. Uh, then when I place it on my board, when I build here, um, it's water you need to give me. No. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, I've given you the wrong thing. Sorry. I can't do that. I don't have the right resource. Oh, Lachlan. Oh, Lachlan. Uh, oh, Franks. Oh. Too, too far ahead of myself. Special boy. So I probably do have to do the uh, explore then. Yep. How unfortunate. Here's a level 2B. Cool. So you bump mine off. I bump Sean's off. It's going to upgrade. I can move a grand total of four spaces. And it goes back here. Right? Yes. Yeah. So I mean, you can choose for it not to go there, yeah. but if you want it to be a level four. I do. Yeah. Um, we will move to Capena and get one of each, please. New Capena. One of each. Yeah. There you are, sir. Thank you very much. Very cool. Cool. My turn. Thank yeah. you for allowing me to upgrade my B, Lachlan. I'm going to go to Grow, which allows me to upgrade my oh. faction. So, What's your upgraded faction? Goes to this side, which the only real difference is that my end game is that I get two victory points per recruit B in my hive. Very cool. And I already have two, so that's four points. Not right now, only at the end. And only at the end, yep. And then it was level four, so I can decide what I want to do. I'm just going to spend... You've got no recruits, so you can either, you can get frames. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to just spend two pollen to get a frame. And the frame is going to go here. Cool. Sweet. Hey, Christian, cool. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for jumping into chat. How you doing? Uh, so far, so good. It is an interesting game. Yeah. To say the least, the bumping mechanic is by far the most interesting part of the worker placement. There's, there, apparently, there's another worker placement game that uses it as well, so I'm keen, okay. to, keen to try that at some point. Interesting. Um, but I like the rotating of upgrading your workers as well, so they've got better strengths. Like, it's one yeah. thing for the bump, but then the second part is the upgrading your workers, which allows you to do different things in different areas. Yeah, it's yep. very cool. Your turn. Cool. I would like to uh, advance. Mm -hmm. I need to put my level two worker out there on advance. That one. Yep. And I would like to spend one uh, wax mm -hmm. to build the cl uh, cleansing flight. Now, what this is going to give me is one victory point for each explore token that I discard right now, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. God damn, that's a lot. Yeah. So six victory points. So time goes from three to nine. Three to nine? Hell yeah. Just seems like a good play. So victory point at the end of the game, uh, six victory points now, and also an additional victory point around my uh, tile that cares about tiles around it. Uh, you have a total of four Bs because you've got four spaces in your active pool, Morgamoon. Um, Sean and I started with two Bs, so we had two in our, like, on the side of the board. Tom started with three Bs, so you only had one to recruit. Um, and that's yep. basically the maximum is four that you can have. Yep. So the part of the game, is your turn, Lachlan. Part of the game is trying to manage getting your Bs to hibernate, because then you get the benefits there and you are pushing the game along to um, completion. But then also being able to get them back um, from the side of the board, which is when they're in hibernation, uh, to then use to get more actions on your turn. Sort mm. of deal. Uh, for two wax, you can take up to three face up of any of the tiles, not carved, but any of the three basic tiles, put them in your reserve, and from now on, only you can build them. It's also worth four victory points. It's pretty good. Cool. It's not bad. Uh, okay, so now that I have the resources, I will do the action I wanted to do before, but this time I don't have to use a level four because Tom has put his level two. So my level three is going to go here, which then is going to give me the ability to uh, buy anything from the fifth uh, value column. And I am going to take that farm, mm -hmm. which is going to cost me the fiber and the water. There you are. Hey, Please, nicely, thank man. you. Very you sorry. <laughs> uh, that's going to go onto my board. When I build here, I build one lightning to the right for free. So I get one thing for free. Uh, and I am thinking I am going to build... <sighs> this is tough. I was thinking about building bee bread because that gives me four resources just like mm -hmm. straight off the bat. Which is really good. Also or I worth get two like, victory points. 
Or I could do like Nucleus, which is giving me the ability to have more frames. Oh, that's true. But I think four resources is pretty darn good. And you filled up your entire board. That's eight points at the end of the game. Yeah. That's right. that's that's some big plays. So what resources do you want? Uh so frames cost that, or they cost this. I will go. Uh, I've got myself on 12 points. I was on six before from getting yeah. other stuff. You're on nine. I've got myself on 12. We can check it later, but I added six. six from that to go up to 12. You went from three to nine with that six. Right, but I'm saying I was I understand, on six. but where'd you get the other three um, From the, the tiles that I got. I'm going to quickly just check back through the stream you and see what was, I was on before. Was it from those explore tokens? Yeah. Where, where, where'd you put them? Uh, right Sean took them away. How many, I, how many I had, points from those ones? Two plus I'd gotten some other ones. And one, one. So you only two victory points from those. So you would have moved uh, from first I, place. I'm going to double check place? it. I'm going to double check it. Keep taking your ten. Okay. Yeah. Well, you've gone right. So it's my turn. Mm, no, I need to take three, uh, four resources. So oh, I'm yeah. going to take uh, two pollen and two fiber. Please. Two pollen, two fiber. Yeah, just handy. Yeah. Yep, I can go on. Flocky buys another frame. Does he have to fill that two to get the eight points or is his new frame a new set of slots? It is a new set of slots. And if you fill that, you also get another eight points. Yep. And this is our new farm card. So income gets you pollen, uh, gives you a spot for wax or honey and it only costs you water. Nicely done. All right, uh, so that's Lachlan's turn. Yep. What's yours, Sean? I'm not sure. That's unfortunate. Because, yes. I think that's... Did you get victory points for covering spaces on your board? No, I've got nothing on my board that gives me stuff. Uh, have you done income? I believe once, but I'll check it. That's cool. I'm going to find out where I've screwed up and okay. you guys keep playing. Well, this needs to... Yep. What new tile have we got? We got crop diversity, so you can trade in seed cards to get two points each. Nice. Seed cards are an interesting one because when you take the research, you draw X amount of cards, but you only ever keep one. So mm. if you did that multiple times, you could accrue more. But then if you ever wanted to plant one, you'd have to go there with a level four and then discard everything else. So you've like put all this effort in to get the seed cards. There are other ways of getting seed cards as well, like sacrificing um, Queen's Favor here, for example, um, and you could get a seed card, which is really handy. But otherwise, there is also the winter stores where you can gain one wax and you would gain two seed cards. Uh, mm. Sean, your yes. turn? Yeah, my turn. Sorry. Um, All good. Figuring out what I want to do. Yeah, and there is also, I have seen in the planets where there is a planet tile that will allow you to plant a seed as another means of being able to plant, but it still would cost you a level four uh, B to go and use the level four ability on the planet. So there are different ways to do it. It's just planting, they are, they are end game. They're very similar to the calves, but end game abilities and they're quite difficult. If Loki buys another frame, yep. yeah, right, and right. some of the frames have abilities to gain or even plant these. No, all the frames are the same. Um, see you, party meeple. Thanks for jumping in. Thanks for joining us. Uh, all the frames are the same, where they have a thing that says that you, if you fill it, then you get eight victory points. But they also have, if you cover the two spaces, you get the uh, seeds. So you get seed cards, but you don't get to plant them. Yeah. I'm gonna go on the advance with my three, so bump off Tom. Now I can go a value of six, much. which I'm going to buy this one, which is the one that just recently came out for the one water. Uh, so pay my water. I'm gonna pop it on here. And what do I want? Because Wait, what was I thinking? Oh yeah, I get a thing for doing that. What were you thinking? Yeah, what was I thinking? I get any one resource for putting it on this space to my hive. What do I 
need. I'm just gonna go with water again. Just go water. Yep. Oh, look at this one. Love it. So nice. income gives you water and Queen's favor. Storage for water and it costs a fiber and a thing. Very cool. Um, I. Thanks to you giving me back my workout. Uh, first of all, I discovered where I went wrong. I just hit the button too many times. I am on nine points. Thank you for double checking it for me. Me. Uh, I would like to go to advance. I'd like to bump Lachlan's off. Congratulations, Lachlan. You now have three level four Bs. Nope. He's coming uh -huh. into my landing area and he is not becoming a level four B. And I would like to spend one wax for once again, that first card in the lightning bolt area. Uh, and this is going to give me my choice of a honey, two wax, or two cards. Now, I would like two cards, please. I figured you were going to say that. Uh, and that is going to go down here on my board. And we have Serum, which has come out. Retrieve all active, uh, yeah, active workers. So yeah. the ones out on the board. Mm -hmm. um, not I mean, Oh, sorry. No what? No aging. So they don't. They don't age. So it's like a retrieve action, but, but they don't. They don't upgrade. They don't upgrade. And then you still collect income. Very cool. So it's like that retrieve action, but without actually having to increase them if you didn't want to. Yeah, it was pretty cool. handy because I have I almost had three level four Bs. Yeah, right. Which is concerning. It. So Tom, you're happy with your turn? I am. That is about as best as I was going to get for right now. Okay. That is my turn. I've got cards. I've got options. I have power. Mm. Unfortunately, one of these is end game points for all those uh, explore tokens that I just discarded. So that would have been real nice. <laughs> I did consider buying them the other way around, but I was like, this is immediate points. Just seems like a good idea and a good way to spend stuff. So while Lachlan's thinking, so I've got a benefit where is whenever I hibernate, I gain two resources of the basic resources. Yeah. Mm. And then, so when you hibernate, let's say I put my guy here, I bump him off. Yep. He hibernates, right? Yep. So I get that. Yep. Then when does, so then income happens when I retrieve everyone. Yep. Okay. Income only happens when so I retrieve. So I can get him back from that. Okay. No, because uh, you can actually, yes, because yeah. you've got a, 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 a income of returning a worker, which is very, very cool. Yeah. So I'm just trying to figure out how to best play that. I want to hibernate and then I want to get him back as quickly as I can. And then on the <clears> next <throat> turn, basically hibernate again, get him back. Yeah. In a way. What are you thinking, Lachlan? Uh, I'm in a tricky situation because I have two level fours and I can't build anymore because I need frames. But if I go to the grow, and buy frames, I also have a car, like a tile that allows me to get frames. Mm. So I'm kind of like sacrificing my level four to get frames, but I also need to get honey or I need to get wax for that. So I'm like, where can I send my level four to do other things that could be really valuable? Um, so I'm just like in a little bit of a pickle because I want to build, I want to build this, but I need frames. So I need to go there but I only have level four, so it's like I'm stuck in a rock and a hard place. If I go to the, the advance, I can't actually go to the advance because I can't build anything because I don't have the space for it and you're not allowed to go there if you can't do it. Um, I could go to the explore and it would, if it's a level four, then I also gain the level four ability, which is gain resources from Estera. So it's like, cool, I'd get basically four resources from that one planet would I have anywhere to store them? No. I guess that gets me Queen's Favor, which is kind of handy. I mean, Queen's Favor could be good because I have the Queen's Favor carved. That's token. true. You kind of could just I work could, straight towards that. I could go to the research. This and might be a good time for you to take a break, Sean, if you want to stand up and stretch your legs while Lachlan's talking through his thoughts. I've also got mm -hmm. the option of going to research, which I could go to level four and I'd get four cards and I would get to plant one which could be really good because- I'm I'm working towards that now. That's why I did it in this mm. order was to, nah, I'm good. Um, uh, I, I've got two things now. Obviously I said one of them is end game scoring for tokens. I don't have any of those anymore, but this one, mm. this could be an extra eight points for me at the end of the game if I manage to plant this. Yeah. So I'm like, planting would be good. I could get four cards, which is a lot when you really you, think you about it. You get a lot of choice. Like, a lot of choice and something's gonna be good. 
but I'm also like, I need resources, but I need frames. So I'm still torn because I need to get like my level two worker back yeah. or do a recall and get my level three back into my active pool. And how are you feeling about these choices seeing as you're halfway through the game and it seems like you're in a tough spot? <sighs> um, I set myself up to do a very specific thing and I've done it and now I'm like, the farm, you're correct, the farms are not doing the way I need it to, yeah. but I also need to get into a position that if it does come up, then I have the ability to build frames. Because I was torn between doing B bread and the nucleus, because this is a level thing, would have got me frames, but then now I'm like, I have an abundance of resources and I can't build anymore. Whereas I think if I had taken the frames, I probably, probably still couldn't have bought anything anyway. Yeah. So it's tough. One half a dozen. So for level four, I think we will... Thank you for subscribing, whoever that was. That alert doesn't work for us, but hello, you might be watching us live, you might not be, because we do a lot of things on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like I, oh no, I need resources to convert, so I can't even convert. So I think uh, research is gonna be my option for my level four. Mm -hmm which is going to get me four cards. And the ability to plant one of them, or to plant Straight the one away. that you keep, if you so wish. Yeah. So, question on the research, actually. Yeah. So it says, also plant one. If I yeah. draw X cards and I keep one, but I plant one, do I plant first? No. And then keep You draw, one? keep one, and then plant the one that you keep. Okay. So you do the full draw action first, and then the four level four action specifically says, also plant one. Let me double check the rules. But I believe you have to have kept it before you can plant it. How are you feeling, Sean? You're about halfway through the game? Why well, not even, I'm the only no. one who's popped in the level fours. We're yeah. not even halfway through yet. No. Yeah, but I mean, I'm about to pop like two yeah. or three. Mm. Um, no, I'm, I'm feeling good. I think there's a few things I need to quickly nab up to make everything work for me, but... Can I spend the cards that for their other abilities? Nope, you draw four, you keep one, and then you choose what you do with it. All right, so I'm going to plant this one. What is it? So this one here is end game is two victory points per active worker. That's cool. It's not bad. The Especially because there's a yellow tile that does the same thing. Yeah, that's kind of cool. But it's also just like everything else kind of wasn't that great. It was like yeah. seven victory points if you have no frames. I need frames. Like, I need frames. And the other one is like wax and just three victory points. So not great. Not great, which is unfortunate. But that is my turn. <clears throat> I don't want to do that, because I don't think so. I need resources. I need workers. Actually, no, I think Yeah, I that's will. rough. No, nah, honestly, it's fine. So I'm going to go to the advanced action. I'm going to bump off my three. Mm -hmm. Whoops. Put that across. So this guy is going to go to a four. Uh, now I've got a strength of five here, so I'm going to buy this farm. Cost me a fiber. Whoop. Right. I'm in the wrong spot. Fiber and a water. Um, and more Queen's Favor. More Queen's Favor. Farms. He's, he's kind of just stopping you from playing the Queen's Favor game. He is. And it's like, it's such a struggle. Because I'm like, I need Queen's Favor. He goes there. And I get <sighs> a card. So I get a seed card. Very cool. I need to do so many things. I'm in that problem of, I need to do too many things at yeah. once. Okay, cool. Well, fortunately, my turn's easy. I would like to retrieve. Okay. So I get my level two back, he becomes a level three. I get my level four, three back, he becomes a level four. Uh, and uh, then I get a single victory point as my income. Hell yeah. Now I'm up to double digits. <laughs> Very I'm cool. on three. Let's go. Let's go. That's my whole turn. Sweet. So I have a level four guy, or I could recall and get people back, mm. um, which could be handy. But I'm like, do I just spend my level four and go over there? It's like, it's going to get used anyway. <sighs> oh, 
So we're supposed to get oh, a yeah, new farm. farm out. So it's income of any one, fiber and a water. Mm, and storage for standard. honey, which could be important. Yeah. Mm. Storage for honey is good. If I recall, I lose him, I get him back, I get him back. I don't have the spots for that, but I don't have water. Water, but I need frames. Damn. Damn indeed. Damn. 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 Yep. Yeah. So we're going to go a level four into the explore. Sean, please. Uh, and then we're going to end up on Saxfra down here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get two water, please. Thank you very much. Double water. Double water. Like if I went to there, I'd get a water plus an income. If I went here instead, sorry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So because I used a level four, I could put a water on that space. So I'd get a water. Um, and a fiber. But that already had a water there. So, oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to let you guys talk while I take a break. Tell the world about your wonderful choices. So I've gone on to Estera and I put a water on there. I also get a fiber. Mm -hmm. But because I use a level four worker, I get the ability to collect uh, income from up to three of my farms. Yep. So I get a water and a pollen from my income. That's a better move for you. Yeah, I think that was the water that I collected from the map. Uh, so then that's a water from the planet, a water from my income, a fiber from the planet, and a pollen from the other thing. Uh, what do I need more of? I've got four pollen and three fiber, so it's pretty evenly spread. Everything's virtually the same. If I want that, I need fibers. If I want that, I need two of those. So I'm going to put this fiber on here instead of the pollen. The two pollen go back and I get two queen's favor. Cool. All right, so for my turn, I'm going to go on the explorer as well. Bump your guy back. So your two, you can either upgrade him or not. So move six. Calculator wrong. You all good? Yep, I'm happy. So cool. this, oh, you bump my guy? Yeah. So you can either go up or not. Yep, he's going to become a three. Yep. And then what do I need? I'm going to... So I can move six. I'm going to go one, two. Oh, do I want these? No, I'm just going to go here. I think I need these. Yep. So going on to Malky. Yep. To get two, two pollen, pollen and a fiber. Yep. Sweet. Now it's Tom's turn. Tom is not here. <laughs> Tom's not here. Oh. So what am I doing with this water? I just come back. I I put it on my board, but then obviously redid all my things. Rejigged. And then I also rejigged because even though I said that I was keeping that fiber, I swapped it back. So I put a fiber and a pollen back into the thing. Yep. Because juggling resources is a struggle. What are you thinking, Sean? What's your plan? So my plan, right, for everybody, is I've got this nice big circle of farms. Mm. If I can get this carving. Yep. which gives me four per adjacent farm. Mm. I get a big bang for my buck for that, but I got to get some honey. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out a way to get some honey. before you can get it. Yeah, I was hoping to get all of that out before you got back to the table. So That's all right, I'm not taking that one. Yeah, <laughs> Tom has one farm. Yeah, it's not going to be worth it. You bumped my worker off? No, I took my worker back. That's right. Yeah. So it's your turn. It's my turn. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to... Yeah, I'm going to carve. Mm -hmm. I'm going to carve four, okay. and I'm going to carve for free. Yeah, okay. This one. Because I have both a uh, carving cost one 
and this one here oh. um, uh, costs one less on my board. Yep. So that means I can build a two honey card for free. And I would like, I believe I'm going to take, uh, is it universe, university? No, what does it say? Longevity. Uh, longevity. longevity. I'm going to take longevity. That's good. Uh, which is three per remaining um, uh, hibernation tile that I have. Yeah. If I'm playing really well, this is going to be nine points. If I play slightly worse than really well, it's going to be 12 points. Either way, good amount of points. Wait, well, what? No, you, the other way around. So really well, 12 points for you. Slightly worse is nine points. No, the better I play, the less of these I have. Mm, that's not strictly true, but... We'll see how we go. Cool. All right, that goes on. up there. Uh, that was my turn. Sweet. Right I have a level three. My level three is going to go on the grow space. Bumping Sean's level four. Oh, he hibernates. He hibernates. Yep. So I'll put, I've got to do this. So I'm going to get two waters. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm going to grab a one water. And a pollen. And then my hibernation token. Where'd you like it to go? Big choices. You can do a lot of stuff with this. There are spaces that we haven't talked about yet on the on yet on the hibernation comb mm. that when you go there it clears the farm uh, mm. recruit and development areas. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna try and nab this honey. Yeah, good. That's move. a good move. Especially because you need the honey for your stuff. That's yeah, a good point, I mean, you, actually. You need three honey. I kind of forgot about that. I'm like, I could have just nabbed that with one of my fours. Like, yeah. I could have bumped one of my fours off early, got that, and then it would have been like, yeah, he was getting bumped anyway at some point. Yeah. So I'm paying a water and a fiber yep. to get a frame, please. Love it. So now I have the ability to do stuff again. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, I can do stuff. Do good. something. Do something. Because I couldn't build anything. Cool. That's it. That's it. All right. So then I'm going to use my four. I'm going to go over here and bump your four off. So you Ooh. go to hibernation. Oh, the game's ramping up, ladies good. and gentlemen. I would have loved to have hibernated on that space. And now I'm like, regret. Cool. I'll let you pick that out first before I move on to the rest of my turn. Actually, why, why you choose, I'm going to go. So I'm going to move over to here because it was a four um, level B. Uh, I'm gonna get that, so I get a fiber and a water. Water goes there, fiber goes here. And then the bonus of this planet is I get to collect income from up to three of my farms. So nice I'm gonna go game. the worker back. Nice. Goes back Very to good. one. I get my two victory points. And the queen's and favor. The queen's favor. Yep. And I'm going to choose the... You have pollen or water in a queen's favor? I really want that queen's favor, but I think I might... Um... Tough, mm. tough choice. Because now I don't have a level four and I can't go to carve yet. So whether it's better for me to just take the Queen's favor now. Quick, steal that one before you can get it. <laughs> yeah, what's, what's I think that? I'm gonna do this one. He's not gonna have a level four for a while. We could honestly steal that away from him. Yeah, so okay. I'm gonna- Three honey. <laughs> so yeah, Don't I'm gonna it. do the water and a Queen's favor. So one more Queen's favor, please. Okay, cool. Uh, I am going to take this space, which gives me one water or a resource of my choice. So a water and, oh. And you can taken. clear these out. Sorry, I want the Queen's Favour in the farm. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. He wants to clear the farms away. I want to clear the farms. Okay. Farms are gone. Get them out of here. So yeah. the new ones uh, we've got. Reese, it is going well. It is big brains is what it is. Oh my God. Oh my God. I mean, that's income of three points. That's pretty banging. <sighs> yeah, but like, I just want the Queen's Favour tokens. Like uh -huh. My whole game has been like, get Queen's Favour. Can't get Queen's favor. Yeah, that's Struggle. rough. Uh, was that your turn, Sean? That is my turn. All right, I would like to go on Grow. I'm bumping Lachlan off. Okay, my guy is going into the landing zone. 
Uh, and I have a level three power on grow, which means I can buy a tile and get one worker back. Uh, so I would like to... Ooh, unless you guys are my four. I would like to pay two of anything for a tile and a... Um, a, fight, a pollen for a worker. Uh, so there we go. That is a pollen for a worker. Two of anything for a tile. I'm going to put this tile up here so I can continue to build an additional three points around this tile uh, and hopefully get myself some cards as well. Uh, and I get one of my workers back as a level one. That's my turn. Okay. So I put my guy... I didn't upgrade him to a level four, so I'm going to retrieve as my action. Okay. Uh, this Very guy cool. is going to hibernate because he was level four. Um, we need some stuff is what we need. We do need stuff. Stuff and things is what we need. Uh, uh, Tom having a great time over here on this space. I'm having a wonderful time just in general playing this game. This is a very fun game. It's good, it's good. Uh, do I want a seed token? A seed card, I feel, possibly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, so many options. I'm gonna take these two victory points, I think. Good call. So you are low on victory points. On five. Yeah, and I and now have locked in that. Three. Yeah, space. Pretty cool. Unless you move it. Unless I move it with the tile that allows you to do that. All right, so I'm going to go on the advance. Oh, sorry. I retrieved. Yep, so, so those these ones. other two are going to come up here as well. Yep, and you get income of a water and a pollen. Hell yeah. They don't level up. They don't level up? That they is come? specifically the point. I thought it was if they were in the active area already. No. Workers here do not change strength and only collect income. Hell yeah. Yeah. That is specifically why you did that. Cool. Oh, yes, that, that's why I did that thing. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go here. Love it. How goes Space Bees? Space Bees go. The space Bees are doing good. Uh, and I'm going to buy... Don't don't count the points as how well people are doing, because Lachlan and I have more tiles than Sean at this point, but it's now getting pretty even. So yeah. I'm going to buy the Diplomat, so he allows me that whenever I do the advance, I can uh, do a cost, a recruit. Um, B for one less pollen, but cool. I don't get that now. I get it from after this. So this is going to cost me one pollen, which I have. And I'm going to put it there. And I get a seed card for putting it there because of my hive. You want to see it. Ooh. Interesting. And then these slide down. What's and we the new have one we're an explore one, cartographer. So when you explore, you get to gain an extra of any of the basic resources. Hey, that's, that's basically what I do already. Uh, all right. Do I need resources? Do I need more workers? Because that is an option for me right now. But my own one off and get more workers. I think that's a good idea. It's not necessarily a fast idea, but it will speed me back up when I'm about to lose both of these workers to hibernation again. Uh, so uh, I would I would like to bump my own worker off on grow. So I'm placing a level one there, bumping my own level three, who will become a level four, and I will be, uh, do one grow of spending a pollen to get a worker back. Very nice. Very big turn, but I think I'm a little, like you guys are about to lose all your workers and I'm mm. I'm just ahead of that game just a little bit. We'll see how we go. Yeah, when you're like out of sync with everyone. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna go to the convert and we've got a convert of three. So we're gonna pay one po pollen, one water, one pollen, one water to get a honey and to, to get two honeys and then don't have any more water, so I can't, but I can pay one pollen and one fiber to get myself. Actually, no. 
<laughs> too many choices. Too, too many choices, man. The worker placement's messing with your brain. Yeah. Well, I'm going to do it. So, and that will give me a wax. So, I get two honey and two wax. Two, two honey, one wax. <laughs> Math. Math. Here you go. Pull that back. All right. I'm just the banker over here. You sure are. Cool. All right, it's my turn. Yeah, I guess that's how this works. Cool. So I'm going to retrieve. So I just retrieve all my workers. So this guy comes back and he goes up one strength. He goes from a two to a three. This one here is a four. So does that mean he hibernates? Hibernates, yeah. Then this one goes from a one to a two. This one goes from a two to a three. And that's it. Yep, you get three incomes. Three income. So I'm going to choose my Queen's Favor and two victory points. So one, two, and a Queen's Favor. And then... You can get our worker straight back. Yep, I'm going to get him straight back. And I'm going to go the Queen's Favor and the water. Nice and done. Uh, well, where would you like to place your hibernation token? Yep, and then my hibernation token is going to go... Hmm. I think... Space Bees. Space Bees is hard. Space Bees is good, man. This game has been way harder. Yeah, I mean, are you feeling it? I mean, no, like the other game was hard because I got bottlenecked and I yeah. feel like I've also been bottlenecked this one as well. Yeah, fair. None of these the studio really is much cooler than... <laughs> oh yeah, the, the air cons are working overtime for us right now. Yeah, I think I'm going to go here. Okay, what are you getting? Getting a wax? Getting a wax. Them? Do I want to clear this and yes. get a wax? Yes, you do. Yeah. Why not? 100%. Like, yeah. it's not doing anything for us at the moment. We're kind of ramping as well. I suppose I'm giving you guys more choices. Which is you sure are. 100%. Here you are, sir. Have a Thank wax. You. Thank you. Uh, right. What do we got coming out? We've got Arboretum. Plant up to two seeds. seeds. Sexy. Harvest. Explore. The planet where the queen ship is currently located at a strength of four. Ooh. It's kind of cool. It is kind of cool. And... DNA sequencing, which is gain two cards, then plant two. Ah, so more Whoa. planting ability. That's very cool. Yo, plant. Cool. And that's my turn. All right. Uh, speaking of planting, that's what I'm going to do. Nice. Where are you yeah, going? Uh, I'm going research. all research. the way up to there, and I would like to draw four cards, and then I'm going to plant a card. Basically, I'm going to see if there's something better. Otherwise, I have a, hand, a card in my hand that I'm going to plant. Nope. Cool. Nope. Cool. All right. What would I like to keep? Ooh, that's useful. It's actually very useful. Are you sure? How mad would you be if I like built monoculture? Hmm? I would be really mad. <laughs> you can't afford it yet. Though. Oh no, because you get a negative one, don't you? No, that's not. I was just scaring you. <laughs> you, you make my heart fluctuate here, man. No, I can't deal with this. Yeah. Dude, I'm setting myself up for that. I know. And I, and I, I, I want you to I'm, do it. I know, but I'm still tempted to stop him from doing it. Um, Oi, Sean, hurry up and do it. Tough choices, tough choices, tough choices. I think that's going to be my play. Cool. So I'm keeping that one, discarding those three. Um, and I'm glad that Sean didn't get that one because there is a card here that is two points per uh, recruit that you have. Oh, yeah. That would have been far too good for Sean. All right, and then the card that I am planting uh, is at the end game, score four points per set of tiles you have. So one of each. I am now working towards getting a recruit and a farm to give myself an additional four points because I have four points so on my eight. board already. Nice. Yeah. That's pretty okay. good. Cool. Is that your turn? That yeah. is my turn. Much so with my level time. three, we are going to go to Carve. Oh, thanks, man. You're welcome. Bumping short, uh, Tom's level four B off yep. of the Carve space, I have the ability to go to Carve as a level three instead of a level four. It's beautiful. Uh, I'm going to spend my two honey. Um, and much to Sean's surprise, I have this card up my sleeve, <laughs> which allows me to buy a structural support. 
which is two honey. So I pay two honey for a two honey thing, and I get three victory points per wax at the end of the game. Yeah, I mean, otherwise it was going to be like brood re rearing, but I was like, eh. Yeah, I mean, you're already doing that. That's the thing. Per what this? No, like you've got got the seed that does the same thing. Yeah, yeah, I do, but it's like. It's a trade-off, right? And if, yeah. I, if I get that, then that's worth, what, six? If I had all four out, then they're worth four, so that's worth 16 points, mm -hmm. which is pretty good. Actually, might be the better option. <laughs> <laughs> so it only cost me one honey. And that will go on my board here. Because it doesn't really, oh, we'll go this one here. It's got, it's got that sweet, sweet seed card. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Um, I would like, as my hibernation, to lock myself in for those five points up there. Mm -hmm. and water or fiber? I will take water. Cool. Thank you very much. Water. All right. So, lock in, you're all done now, right? Yes. Cool. So I'm going to use one of my two Bs to go here and I'm going to build a development. It's going to be a cost of three, so I'm going to build this harvest. So that wax came in handy. Very cool. So I'm going to place this down. And Sean's about to get a butt ton more points. Yep, I'm going to place it here. Butt. A butt ton. Butt ton. Um, and I get to explore the planet where the queen ship is currently located with a strength of four. Because it's technically exploring, do I get the resources from it as well? Yes. Sweet. So I get more water and a fiber. I'm like, that's pretty well. good. Like when that came out, that only really impacted you. Yeah. How everyone else was like, eh, it's good, but it's only good for Sean. I'll yeah. get income one day. And then I get to collect income from up to three of my things. So I'm going to do the one Queen's Favor and two victory points. One, two, Queen's Favor. And then I get to do another Queen's Favor and a water. Sean, how good would this tile be for you? <laughs> <laughs> I know. And I'm just going to get a pollen. <laughs> now I can't place this one. So I'm just going to discard it and get another Queen's Favor. And that's my turn. This slides down. What have we got? Retrieve two of your active um, workers. They don't age. Collect two income. Yeah. <laughs> that's very cool. God damn. Did anyone take the... Um... Oh, it got cleared. It got cleared, the one that gave us the um, yep. ability. All right. Uh, I would like to... Yeah, what would you like? Come on. What you got? What, what, I, what I've got is I need to buy some things. So I am going to pay mm -hmm. one resource this way uh, to move the queen's ship and explore that location. So I'm going to move it towards me one to get myself two pollen, a fiber. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm paying a water, but this counts as exploring. So I'm also going to take that water back. Yeah. As my special bonus for the turn. Um, cool. Now for my actual action, I'm going to jump in onto advance for one, for a strength of three. Uh, and I am going to pay one fiber for the explore one there that is worth two points, mm -hmm. the wayfinder. Sorry, one, one pollen. Yeah, I said the wrong like, word. <laughs> yeah, I was like, cool, we're looking at farms because you said fiber. <laughs> yeah. Fair point. Um, this, I'm mostly buying this for the two points, but now whenever I explore, it's going to be a whole lot of movement and end up wherever I need. Yeah, cool. Uh, what's the card we get out, Sean? The new tile is Astro grow. Chemist. Astro Chemist. Uh, take the, sorry, take actions as, I can't read upside down. Uh, so, grow, take actions as if you placed a strength four worker. So, when you take the grow action, it counts. A level one would be a level four. Wow. Very cool. Uh, I also get a card for filling up that space on my board. So can I have a seed card, please? And thank you. Uh, that is cool. That is very cool. That is my turn. Sweet. So I have to recall for my turn. These become level fours. Onto my board. I get a pollen and a water for my income. Please. 
Turn in the water. Thank you very much. That's my turn. I bet you've never seen a turn so fast in this game in your life. <laughs> never at all. Because all I could do was recall. Hmm. Hmm, indeed, Sean. Hmm, indeed. <laughs> What to do, what to do. Something, anything. Do something! Whatever, whatever you would like, really. Yeah, man. Whatever you'd like. You have so many options. Just click on options. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I did a massive misplay and uh, misread my factory upgrade. Uh, I could have definitely like have built this by going to the grow and not having to do the like uh yeah that's a shame my 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 uh tile upgrade is just that i get more resources when i explore which yeah it's fine i don't really care yeah mine's i get a discount um and i get to build one of these at a discount that's in my reserve already yeah. so it would have been good would have been good would have been good. I'm would curious I, to see how long the game keeps going, because like I'm getting to the point now that I'm just building stuff to get points. Mm. But then at some point, do I then build another um, hex tile to then get well, another set one, of... One, two, three, four, five hibernations. Yeah, I've got... and I've, I've got one on the board ready to pop. And I've got two in my active area. Let's go. So that's three. It's gonna that's be, it's that's gonna be, three. It's gonna Sean's got some threes as well. So we are very rapidly... Coming to the end. Yeah. Um. What are you thinking, Sean? Man, I've got these two cards, which I kind of want to keep. I think. Maybe... It's not like you're struggling or anything. You really just need that honey, don't you? Yeah, look, I can get it. It's just, do I want to try and keep these cards or do I want to yeah. do something else with them? Maybe I'll just get those, those points on the board and I'll worry about it later. All right, so I'm going to use one of my three Bs to go here, uh, which allows me to form up to three conversions. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to... Get honey. Yep. Get honey. Get honey. So get it honey. cost me two... Pollen and a water to get one honey. Yep. Then you want to convert like a fiber into something to get another honey? Um, no. Oh, actually, I didn't think Cause of that. Because you can yeah. convert one yeah, so into I'm something do else. That. So I'm going to convert a fiber, a fiber into a honey. Into No, into a pollen, which then it'll count as a pollen yeah. for this. So that is a honey there. Yeah. So that's the three conversions. Yeah. Had to use one of those conversions to complete another conversion. Yeah. To get himself two honey. Two honey. The man is coming for the calf. He needs a level four though to get there. Yeah, at least I got them yeah. there, ready to, to roll when I need. And that's my turn. All right, Tom, you're up. Um, I have to retrieve. Uh, it's the only thing I can do. So I'm going to pop a hibernate mm -hmm. and I'm going to get two workers back who become level twos. And my hibernate will... Oh, right here, mate. Right, right. just nail that one in. <laughs> do I grab a card or do I clear things out? Or do I grab a... I like a, a wax. wax. I'm made of wax, Larry. What are you made of? <laughs> um, yes. Yes. You know what? I might... Um... Yeah, I'm going to grab that wax. Grab that wax. You are one wax. Sir. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, and that's my whole turn. I've, I've done a retrieve. I get a victory point. Sweet. What do you get the victory point for? Income. Nice. All right, my level four is going to go on the grow space, which is going to allow me to upgrade my factor, my faction tile. Oh, I should have done this ages ago. So I can build a development or a carve in my reserve at a discount of one. Um, I have this irrigation here, which is two victory points per farm that I have. It's going to cost me one honey. Nicely done. Goes on my board, gets me a seed token, seed card. Oh. 
I yeah, right. I see, see, cards it. haven't been that amazing this game, but we'll see. Yeah, I feel like they just haven't can. used them either. That's like the dilemma. Uh, but I will use this card though that I have in my hand because you can just play cards at any time for the area ability, uh, which is I'm going to exchange one of my farms for any of the farms on the board. And I'm going to take this one, which gives me a little, some, in, some, little, little, some stuff. All the stuff. Three victory points during income. That goes away. This five is, this pollen's going to move over here. Cool. It was more so for the income. It's fair. A new farm. Hey, hey, look at it. Get to your queen's favor. I'm done with this game. Yeah. I'm so done with this game. I was eyeing off that farm, but it was just always too expensive for the workers that I had. Yeah. Oh, sorry. What? I also get to do the grow action, which is buy my workers back. Nice. So they can come back onto my board. Um, and then I could buy another frame, but I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> So now I have quite a few workers happening. Love that for you. Yeah. Go there. <laughs> Let's do the ability of the active space. <sighs> <laughs> um, okay. Big play, Sean. Gotta, gotta get that honey. And by get that honey, I mean get that level four worker. Mm, yeah. Do you just bump your own worker off of convert to get the level four? Like, thought about it. I thought about it. Or do you just retrieve? Um. So I can do that. What is that? So yeah, I don't know. Sean, Sean don't is know. locked in his head right now. And I'm like, Sean, there's a camera there. I can't, Talk to the people. I can't announce what I'm doing because I'm like thinking of three things at you, once and you, be like, if I do this step, then this step. Yeah. You it's, can absolutely uh, announce it. We'll just see how bad you fuck it up and right, save look, it for later. So the question is, I want to get this because I want to plant some stuff, right? So how do I get wax? The easiest way to get wax is to convert it. So I need pollen and fiber. I have some fiber. I have no pollen, mm -hmm. right? So I'm thinking, how do I get pollen easy? I can explore and then I'll have some, which I could do. So it's all about the order of which I do things. Mm. Do I, or if I go there with the three, I can convert into a pollen with something, but yep. then that only allows me to do two more conversions so I don't have another pollen to do. Yep. So the other question that I, the other thing I was thinking was mm. I could go here and just nab up one more of these Yep. and get a card and then that will allow me to get a pollen because- That's true. Yeah. So you can trade in a card for a resource at I any time. I'll do that. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to grab, you know, I can grab either one. I have tons of water and not enough fiber. So I'm going to do that and grab this one. So just simple farm card. It's gonna go here. Nice. Cost me a water. Oh, man, you're ready for that card. Yeah. And Quick still I get a card. I don't have any wax anymore. The honey. Okay. That's a bit weird, but yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the end game on this is crazy. Alright. Uh, right, can cool. you flip out a new um No. You farm for us, Sean, because I might want to buy it. So I definitely want to buy it. I don't have the strength to buy it, but it's cool. <laughs> cool. Um, all right. I need to buy myself a farm of some kind to get myself some things. I think at this point it is probably best in case I do an income to get the one that gives Queen's favor. Uh, unfortunately, I only have strength level two, so I cannot get that five one. So I'm bumping one of Sean's off and I will have a strength of three. Uh, and I will pay a water and a um, fiber fiber for a farm. It will get me a point at the end of the game. Most importantly, though, this gets me another plant card. Which completes two sets. Gives mm. me two sets. That's another four points. Hey, another that one farm. would have been real nice. Mm. Um, cool. Uh, can I have a plant card, please? Sure can. Thank you very much. Proceed card. That is my turn. 
Okay, so we got a lot of options here, gang. Um, the struggle is, what do I want to do? There's too many things to do, um, but we're going to go with my level four over to the research over here, which is going to get me four cards. You going to try and plant another one? Um, yeah. Huh. How good. Seven vision points if I end at the space seven or lower on the queen's favor. <laughs> you mean the opposite of what you're trying to do? The opposite. That, honestly, I, I love that one. This is the uh, only thing. God, that would have been perfect for me. Four I'm really eight. just ignoring the queen's favor this time. Like I, I'm, I'm going to try and get up on it a little bit just to get at least some but victory instead, points. Instead, I'm going to plan this one, which I had in my pocket, which is six victory points if you reach 15 or higher on the queen's favor. So we're, we're trying. Trying for it. I'm on seven, so I need to get, eight, get quite a lot. I need eight favor between now and the end of the game. Well, the end of the game is only four things away, but everyone does get one additional turn at the end of the round. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if we can do that. Yeah. So for my turn, now I'm going to go to the convert. Yep. This guy goes up uh, in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to, for my first convert, I'm going to convert a water into a pawn. Nice. Just for my first pawn. And then I'm going to play this card just for the um, resource it gives me, which mm -hmm. is just going to be a another pollen so to convert I've got my two pollen and my two fiber to get two wax and I have nicely done and that's my other two conversions can I have two wax please yes there you are sir uh, I'm gonna do something very similar to Sean if that's the end of your turn ah uh, dang it what I he doesn't have score. the space for it <sighs> Sean Sean buddy <laughs> that whole no. turn Literally everything you just did was useless. <laughs> I thought I fucked up bad this game, but holy shit. Sean, mate, how like, bad do you feel right now? It's really bad. All right, uh, let's just go backwards. Go yeah, backwards quite a lot. These bees have now invented time travel this because is... through the power of Sean's stupidity, time travel exists. No flipping the table. Um, well, it's conveniently a table that is of a perfect size that it could be flipped. Um, <laughs> right, so that goes we've come full circle. Sean, you just need me with my four spaces to store honey and wax. So I had two threes, right? Pretty yep. sure. That's back there. I yep. needed my... Yeah, two fiber and uh, water. Yeah, so I had two water. But I also needed... I used the water to get a pawn. Yeah. No, I think I had a pawn. Uh, I don't think you had any pollen. No, I did. I had one pollen and then I used a... You converted oh, it into one pollen yeah. and then you used the card for the yeah, other true. pollen. God dang. Mate, you, honestly, you just need to get a level four. Like mm -hmm. this might be a retrieve action just to get him mm -hmm. back and turn him into a level four because you have yeah. nothing else to do right now. If you retrieve him, he goes to level four. And you get income of points. Yeah, you get some decent, you get some decent income, Sean. Nice for some of us. Mm. Sean's whole game plan has just gone out the window. <laughs> it's just, I spent a bit thinking about just don't, it. Just don't worry about getting that, that calf tile. It doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry yeah, about it. Totally. Um, gosh, this is, I just want to be able to plant stuff because that'll help. Mm. That will help. But if you go to plant right now, then uh, you're rushing the end of the game and maybe you won't get to do everything that you want to do. Maybe. It's true. And you need, still need to carve, my friend. You need to carve for that tile. Yeah. So... <laughs> I'm going to do a retrieve. Oh, yeah. he's done it. So this comes back. It goes up. Level three or level and two, level whatever level it was. Two. Yep. This comes to level four. Yep. And then you get to do some income. All right, so I'm going to buy that uh, tile that Sean wants. Hold up. Just let me do my income. Um, you, I'm you gonna, physically cannot. So I retrieved two from the board. So I'm just going to do these two know, incomes. So, yep. So you get what? So you get two victory points and go up in the Queen's favor nice. and go up in the Queen's favor again. So that's tw two. twice. Yep. yep. And I get a water. Nice. Love it. And that's me. 
Cool. I'm not actually going to buy the sh tile that Sean wants. Tile? What I will uh, Tile. What I will be doing is converting a um, pollen not. and a fiber into mm -hmm. a wax. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then for my turn, I am going to place my level two worker onto the advanced space. And I can buy up to four on the, that. I'm going to buy the second one there, which is going to cost me two wax because buying? the second one there costs yeah. three wax, but I am putting it onto a space on my board that one there costs minus one wax. Mm -hmm. So what I am doing is spending two wax to gain two cards and then plant two cards. It's a very good card. It's a very good card. So Morgan, I just answer, I don't have a wax storage tile and there's none out. So yeah. it's really hard for me to get one. It's Very really, cool. the the market will be something that gets discussed about. Um, yep. So then we get a new yep. development tile. Which uh, the two cards that I'm going to be planting. <laughs> uh, oh, just gain, gain more cards. Yeah. Cultivars, gain three. But that allows you to plant like Two and two, which is really good. Very cool. Uh, the one that I drew last turn, end game, score two points per development, um, development tile I have, which is good. at the moment three for me. It's pretty good. Um, so I might just be building those. And then this one, just four points. Nice. It's not bad. Sometimes just points. The, the, the other one's uh, not, not very good. Um, and so. that is the maximum amount you can build. Until I buy another frame, uh, frame which yeah, is yeah. possible, but unlikely. My turn? I believe that is your turn. Okay, so I'm going to go up to the explore. I'm gonna move over to a rail, and that will become a fiber, I guess. So I get a fiber, a pollen, and a fiber. Cool. That goes onto my board. This one can't go onto my board, so it becomes a queen's favor. Turn. Cool. All right. Well, guess what? I'm going card. He's doing the thing. Hey. Well done, Sean. Which one are you buying? Show it off for everyone. I'm buying the monoculture, which gives me points for my farms. So four per adjacent farm, and he has a total of, what's that? Five. Five. Oh, 20 points. 20 points at the end of the game. Yep. And it goes nice and snug in the middle there. That's very nice. Very cool. That's that done. Your turn. Uh, I have to retrieve. Retrieve. So... That is a two, you can yep. go up to a three. And then both go up to three, and I get myself a point and a queen's favor. Mm. So one point. Yep. And a queen's favor. Yep. Yep. Cool. I'm um, up to 12 points now. You missed an income for me at some point. Yep, I think that's true. That's my turn. Cool. I'm going to explore for with my one guy. I would like three resources that get turned into favors. <laughs> that's <Wow>. my turn. <laughs> Yeah, right. We are coming! <laughs> where, where were you moving though? You're going to go here? <laughs> yeah. Whatever it is, I couldn't fit them on my board! What a shame! What an absolute shame! <laughs> time to climb! <laughs> time to climb! Yep. Alright, so <laughs> now I'm going to go the convert. Yep. Uh, and let's see if I can do this. So, I have my two fiber. So I need to get to pollen. I have an extra convert. So I'm going to convert one of my waters into a pollen. Ugh. And then I'm going to discard stress. I'm going to use one of these to get another pollen. Now I can do these two conversions and get my two wax now, which I can store because I got rid of my honey. Oops, and I'm dropping my wax all over the floor. Reach it. There we go. Got my two wax. And that's my turn. Hey, how are you doing at home, gang? How are you doing? I'm having a great Tom? time. What you got? So you got two bees ready to go. You yeah. got some cards in your hand. Uh, I'm going to explore. Yes, bump me my guy, please. Yep. Thanks. Uh, and I am going to, I believe I'm going to have enough movement to go into the top right and get that extra token. One, two, three. Yeah. Four. Um, so I'm going to get one of anything. Um, what planet do I get? Wait, yeah. what, what are you going to get from one of them? Uh, I'm going to get a pollen. Uh, for my other one of anything from my board, I'm going to get a fiber. And then from the planet, I'm going to get a fiber and a pollen. Nice. Solid. So we got Kobita, which has got a level four ability, uh, which is gain two resources plus three victory points, very which is cool. pretty cool if you go there with level four. Very nice, very nice. All right, and that's my turn. My turn? Yep. 
I retrieve. Good move. Two bees come back. Two hibernates. Oh no. Two resources on here. Game's close to oh, finishing. I tied it. Dang it. Yeah, so was me. Uh, this one comes back, gets leveled up. Um, I get two resources, which I can't fit on my board. Shame. One, two. I clear the recruits. We get some more recruits. Um, and that is basically my turn for the moment. And we've got the Death Beauty, which is uh, when you use the advanced action, you may purchase from any column regardless of worker strength. That would have been so good at like early oh, game. So early, yeah. So good. Then we've got the Biochemist, which is one resource per, you can trade one resource per turn for any other one resource, which is really just handy. Uh, and then we've got the Palynologist, which is whenever you build a tile adjacent to me, gain a pollen. It's pretty solid. I like it. I like it. Cool. So now for my turn, I'm going to go here with my two to buy the Arboretum for two wax. Nicely done. And it's going to go here, which fills out my frame and my whole hive board. Mm -hmm. And I get to plant up to two seeds, so I'm going to plant both of these. First one is just straight five uh, victory points at the end of the game, and this one is one victory point per farm I have. I have farms. Yeah, amazing. God damn. I am farms. You are farms. Uh, the new tile that we have out is you may replace up to two planted cards from your hand. Ooh, that's kind of cool. It's worth three points. All right, Tom, you got a worker? Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do this, and I think it is this way. Uh, I am going to use one card to gain two of any resource, and everyone else gets to gain one. I would like a pollen and a fiber, please. Mmm, nice. Pollen and a fiber. And what, what resources would you guys like? I don't care. I mean, you take whatever you want. Uh, the second card... <laughs> I take... I take... A favor is what I take. I'm then gonna bump Sean off of here. Mm-hmm. Goes back as a four. Um, and I'm gonna turn all my pollen and fiber into three wax. What did you take from that? What? You gain a resource. Do I? Yes. Yeah, oh, everybody nice. gets a resource. <laughs> Sean is still figuring out his end game and he's like Speaking of my end game, um, I'm trading that in for three wax, and then I'm paying three wax for one uh card and uh one uh development tile. Mm -hmm. uh, and I could basically either get a little bit of Quinn's favor or I could get the one that is worth three victory points, which uh, oh. I think actually the other one is better for me. Which one? Pollen uh, Party, Colvars, uh, Cultivars? Pollen Party, because it is worth two victory points and then it is going to give me... Recall. Um, yeah, give me my things back without collecting stuff, which will let me do... And you get two... Um, Two incomes. Two incomes. So that is a Queen's favor to go up and get myself a point there. Two Queen's favor. What? So you get income twice? Yes, but I can only do each one once. So one Queen's Favor there and one Victory Point there. Ah, oh, okay. It's not like it doing it. No. Um, still good. And I get my workers back, please and thank you. But they do not age up. All right, my turn. Mm -hmm. um, we are getting very close to the end. Sean's got a four on the board. He's got a four ready to go. Um, we're going to put a two here on the grow space, spending two pollen. Uh, and that's going to get me two workers into my active pool. And then, um, that's my turn. Love it. Yep, that's it. Okay. Where'd my planet go? Your planet? Did you, did we pull a planet? There was definitely a planet because I got things from it. Is it this one here? No? How did we lose a planet? I don't know. Did you pick it up? Anyone pick it up? No. Has it gone on the bottom? Nope. Does it sound... We've lost the planet! Chat, when All did right. we lose it? And where it, did like, it go? Like when I did the explore. Oh, no, no, no. So I think you... It's this one here. Yeah. And we just were on the wrong spot. Yeah. So moving because across you... one. Because, yeah, I did. I moved this one here. No, no, no. It, it, it goes across to the right because that's where the token was. I thought that's where we took the, oh, that's where we took the other one from. Yeah, yeah sorry. 
Cool. The old, we did something ages ago. <laughs> it was like two turns ago. I don't know. Um, you took the token. The token ages ago, yeah. Game. Ruined everyone's turn. Yeah. Start of the game. All right, Sean, what you got? Okay. I think. Maybe that's <clears> worth <throat> me doing. Active workers are ones on the board as well, yeah? As long as they're yes, not Yes, as long as, as, as they're, they're not, not here. Yeah. Or, or here or the landing area. I'm going to go here, here on the explore. No, here's fine. Active yeah, yeah. Just not the, the landing, landing area. area. I'm going to move this four spaces. One, two, three, four. He's getting those victory points again. Hell yeah. Getting some more water and some fiber. And then I get to do my upkeep. So for upkeep, I'm going to do a Queen's Favor and two victory points, please. Yep. One Queen's Favor. Yep. And I'm going to do another Queen's Favor and a Water. Uh, and then for my third and final one, I'm just going to get a Pollen. Mm. Love it. Cool. That's me there. All right. Tom, what you got? Uh, I'd like to explore. I need some resources. I have done currently. Move me across one, and I would like two pollen and two fiber, please. Tom gets an extra fiber for his special ability. Every time I'm on a planet, I get extra stuff. His faction ability. That's my turn. Sweet. Passing uh, over. All right, I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to do one explore. Oh, Sean gets a hibernate. We're one hibernate away from the end of the game. I'm going to move to Arella, which gives me three resources. So I would like a... Water, uh, sorry, not a water. Um, two pollen and a... Two fibers and a pollen, sorry. I have, to, I have to take that. It's like my only options. Two fibers and a pollen. Yep. I and I have to put it on this space because I can. Is that the... Yes, if you have room for it, you have to put it there. Okay. So that is two favors. Yep. I think you gave me one too many. I should only have one. One extra. One pollen. Yeah. So, so I yeah, only get one favor. Up. <gasps> I'm on space 15. He's on space 15. <laughs> I, did it. I did it. I made it to space 15. <laughs> Let's go. All right, Sean. Amazing. All right. If you pull your workers back, you trigger the end of the game. Yeah. Do I want to do that now or not? That's rough. Yeah. Oh, I so think... I hibernate so I get two resources. I think you do want to pull back, right? Surely. Yeah, if you pull back, it stops me from getting the extra... Everyone gets um, an extra turn, yeah? Everyone gets an extra turn, which means I don't get the extra wax that I need to get the extra points from stuff. Mm -hmm. So it'll just me, be me buying whatever uh, is the best card to get points. Mm. Which is fine. I will be filling out my board though. We've all done a really good job of filling out our boards. Lachlan just didn't quite get there with the second one. You didn't finish yours. I will be on oh, the okay. next time. I, but I, basically, my plan right now, while Sean figures out his end game, yeah, yeah. my plan, if there was two more turns, is to convert into wax, mm -hmm. to then buy one more of these for the two victory points for my end game card and filling in my yep. last slot. If Sean triggers the end of the game now, I just buy one of the other ones. Yeah. I wanted to buy more farms because I have the irrigation, which is I get victory points per farms. Yeah. And that would be great. But I also had like, I need active guys and I need to get my queen's favor for my other one. Yeah. So it was like getting farms and con just doing the explore action to convert into queen's favor yeah. is more beneficial to me because it basically doubles. Exactly. So like each turn is worth like at least three victory points when I do an explore as opposed to uh, getting my farms, which would have been great because I could have got the eight points for doing that. Yeah. But it would have taken me so much time to get them, buy them, fill the board just for the eight points when I really needed to get 215. Like I had a mark to get to. I had to get to 15. Otherwise, I'm not getting these six points, yeah. which is two less than filling the spaces or whatever I'd get. But then also I have the points that you get from there, which is worth the eight. And I also get for the space that I'm on. Yeah. So it's worth like 23 points. From where so I'm at. I can set myself up, but I think I've only got two turns left. Really, like this turn. Oh, mm -hmm. I get three. 
if I... If you set up. If you end the game now, you yeah. have one more turn after yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So two turns if I end the game now. Yeah. Otherwise, if I don't end the game now and I go somewhere, then I'm going to have to end the game the next turn, yeah. which then we all get one more turn. So it's technically three turns left. Yeah. I but don't think I can do enough in those three turns to get me any valuable extra points. Like, I'm going to have to get a... Um, a tile. A uh, yeah. frame and then have to buy. So really it mm -hmm. would be get some resources, then the next turn I would, oh no, I would retrieve, yeah. which would then end the game. So then I only get one on the turn. Yeah. Yeah. So, so just it's better yeah. for ending the game. So I'm just going to retrieve. Wonderful. This one goes into hibernate. Place yeah. the last hibernation token out, Sean. Yeah. I get two resources. I'm just going to choose Nicely done. Yeah, nine points is not bad for your yeah, hibernation, no guys. Especially when this one's getting me 15. Uh, do, 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 do. I think that was it. Just uh, okay. Oh, yeah, nice. Cool. Uh, I'm doing exactly what I said I was going to do. I'm going to advance and I'm going to buy whatever gets me the most victory points, which I believe will be the recruit tile in the middle for two victory points. Spending a pollen, placing that bad boy right in there, filling myself out to get an additional eight points on top as well. Nice. Because I can't let Sean be the only person to get all those points. Mm -hmm. Yep. New card that comes out is the Agriculturalist, which is whenever you retrieve, collect one additional income. Very cool. Which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to send my worker into the void to get some exploring happening, which is going to move on to this space here into Malpy. This gives me three resources. I can't fit them on my board, so I'm going to move up three spaces on the favor. So one, two, three. That's so many extra victory points. It's so good. Yeah. It's honestly... Oh, and I also have four active workers, which is 16 points. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, did I have a three that got retrieved or would have gone up to a four? That, three was, that three was say. already on your board. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. yeah. No, I, I retrieved all my workers. Yes, but he was already oh, on, he was already yeah, on yeah, your yeah. board. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Last turn, Sean. What you got? Dang. I wish I could <laughs> do something cool. Do something cool! Um, how do I get points for anything here? There's nothing uh, I can't do. You, can't, you can't, can't build tiles. Do that because that's not really what well, I can, but it's not going to give me. Oh, I suppose yeah, I could. It gives you favor. It how, gives you favor. Gives you how do favor. I chunder everything into favor? Was that. Uh, if you took water, if there was a planet that gave you an excessive amount of water, yeah. then you could fill one water space. Yeah. Or Same with something pollen. with a pollen. Yeah. But I think the pollen's probably going to be better because there's spaces that give you three things. Yeah, you So can't. if you move here, yeah. then you get two favor because yeah. one will go in this space and two will get yeeted. Yeah. So if you were to do that, then you'd get the... Yeah, so the we'll go things. there. Oh, oh no, off. my level two becomes... a level yeah. two. And then level three. I'm just going to get one pollen. It's going to go there, fill that yeah. up. And, and then get two, two favor, favor. Two favor. Which is pretty good. Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to final scoring on the Apiary! <laughs> Woo! Let's start with where everyone is on the board currently. I believe Lockman is on five points. Hell yeah! Yep. Tom is on 13. Correcto. And Sean is on 18. Correcto. Um, let's have a look at Sean's board and how many points he is getting from tiles he has placed onto his board. Okay. Lachlan, you're going to have to be on the moving. You may have to stand up and move while Sean cool. counts uh, his board. Is that right. the first place that we start? Is I mean, look, we can check the rules for where we're supposed to start, but I'm just going with... Yeah, can we just start with the correct ordering? Because there's uh, a lot of stuff. Cool, yeah, let, let, let's go from here. Filling, filling your hive mat or frames from each. Sean, yep. you have filled your hive mat, so and that is one. eight points. Yep, so eight up to 26. Yep, 26. And then 18 another to 26. eight for my frame. So that's 34. Yep. Cool. Cool. I have done the same. So another 16 points for Tom. So Tom, so 13, 16. 39? Uh, 29. 29. Lachlan, how'd you do? Uh, I filled one, so I get eight. So that is 13. 13. Cool. Uh, now we have a look at the tiles you have built. Sean, what are you getting from tiles you have built? Okay, so I get uh, one, and then another one, then another one, another one, another one, another one, another one, another one. Total of eight points up to 42. So 42. Myself, I have two, yep. two, one, two, one. Two and one. 11 points. 40 points. Ooh, catching up. 
um, mine is nowhere near as impressive as that. I got zero, 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 one, two, three, four. Total of four. <laughs> Up to 17. Yep. Alrighty then. Next, meeting conditions for your built carved tokens. Sean, how did you do? Yeah, so I get 20 points for that. Count it out. Uh, wait, so yeah, so four, eight, 12, 16, 20. Nice. My wording was wrong, I was saying, what are you getting? So oh, 20 points. Again. Four points yeah, for adjacent. Four points for adjacent farm. farm. Nice. Up to 62. 62. Mine yeah. is a little bit complicated. Mm -hmm. um, by a little bit complicated, I mean not at all that complicated, just more complicated than yours. I have three points per adjacent tile, including faction tiles. The faction tile counts as one tile, mm -hmm. so that is a total of 15 points from that one. Pretty good. So 40 to 55. Uh, and then from this one over here, I have three points per remaining hibernation token. I have three, so that is an additional nine, nine points. Yep, yeah, so... 64. 64. Yep. Takes the lead. Now, Lachlan, I know, has a lot of points from this. So, my doing? irrigation gets me two points per farm. I have two farms, so that's four points. My uh, brood rearing is two per active um, worker. worker, which I have four active workers. So, so eight that's points. eight points. Four active workers. On the, board. on the board. Uh, yeah, so eight points. Yep. So, 21 to 29. And then my retinue is one victory point per space on the Queen's Favour, which I'm on 18. Yeah, so 29, uh, so 39. 47. 47, yep. Still trailing by quite a bit. Just a bit. I'm just double checking the, the, the ruling on that one. Not because I don't disagree with you, that just seems like a crazy amount of points. <laughs> I mean, he got 20. <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah, sweet. And you got 15. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's not that crazy. Um, wonderful. The next thing we have is meeting the conditions from your planted plant yep. tokens. Sean, what have you so got? So I get just straight up five victory points for one. So this is 267. And then I get one per farm and I have five farms. So nice. Five, six, seven, 72. Awesome. Uh, I have uh, four points. One, two, three, four. two points per development token I have, which is four, so eight. Six. Uh, and then four points per set that I have of all kinds of tiles, which is another eight points. Yeah, so 76, 80, 84. Nice. Sure. Uh, I get eight points from my active workers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so 47, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then 45. I met the uh, space of 15 or higher on the Queen's favor, so I get six points. Yep. One, two, three, four. Five, six, so 61. Very cool. Next, position on the Queen's favor track. How are you two doing on there? Because I know I'm getting a point. <laughs> well, right, Tom, so Tom gets points. Tom gets two, two points. points. Tom gets two points. So Even better. Six. I get 11 points. So 61 to 72. Yep. And then Sean gets 12 points. And I go 72 to 84. <sighs> Just behind Tom. Oof. Your faction ability. I believe Sean is the only person with a oh. faction ability. Yep. So I get two points per uh, recruiter recruit in my oh, thing. I six get points. Three to six points. So oh. 84 to 90. So close. And then Amazing. finally, hibernation comb area majorities. Yep. Let's start from the left. I have control of that one there for five points. So Tom goes from 86 to 91, he's just one ahead of me. But in the next area, you two are tied. So you add those two together for nine, divide by two and get four points each. Yeah. One, 94. two, three, four, 94. Yep. Lachlan's up to 76. And the final area, Lachlan has majority, gets three points. So Lachlan 79. Has 79. At the end, that means <laughs> Sean has won 94 yeah, points to 91 to 79. Yeah, that was so, so tight. Jeez. That is apiary. You're welcome to give your thoughts, anything we might have missed. Tell us how wrong we played the game. We do try and play multiple times before we get it to the table for stream. Right now, though, we are going to review the game. You can catch that video on YouTube in the future. Or if you like the look of what we've just done, join us live. We do this all every single Saturday. We have been Nerds of the West. My name is Tom, we have Lachlan, Buzz Buzz, and we have a Sean. Hey ya. And we will catch you next time. See ya.